everybody! Um, I don't think I told you, but today was one of those oxymoron days for me. I had to bus from my house, because I can't drive because, um, I physically am really scared of driving. I don't, it's, I have major depression issues, so it's really hard for me to concentrate on driving, so I can't drive. But, my boyfriend was really scared, he couldn't drive, so I had to bus for about a three hour bus ride there and back so that's six hours of my day and I had to bus today so I was pretty pissed I bust all the way down near Quebec now I live in Canada so Quebec is a long way from my house but before I did that I stopped by at a chapters and the chapters I stopped by is downtown Ottawa and they have an amazing Wiccan section so I got some goodies today. I got two new books and I also got some stones. I think they're called ruins. Alright, anyways. Um oh I also got the gay newspaper today. Ta da Yeah, where I live, um, gays are very supportive. There's I told you guys about the gay parade. There's also a lot where downtown Ottawa there's lots of gay bars, gay community centers, um, gay sex stores. They also have a, a building where sex couples can go in. There's a gay bathhouse. Um, there's even a lesbian bathhouse. There's a lot of that stuff near my house. Well, downtown Ottawa. And I go there a lot because I find there's a lot of stuff down there that I'm very connected to. like. I went to the gay community a few times, got some bracelets, and gave them to my gay friends who are just coming out of the closet, just so they know that, you know, to be be happy for the sexuality that you are and stuff. Um, also there is people who do smoke weed, there is a place where you can go and they are pro weed, so they're into the whole smoking joints and stuff. I'm myself, I'm allowed to smoke joints because of my health, but I know a lot of people frown upon it because they see it as a bad thing, but I have very bad arthritis. Like, there is days where I wake up from sleeping and I can't move, my body is stiff and it's really hard for me and I also got really bad back problems because I have really big women parts. Um, anyways. So I was going to show you the books that I got. I got a dream dictionary. Now this dream dictionary is also by the guy who made a thousand spells. Um, he's very, very, they're very good author, author. And I've been having, I, I get a lot of my stuff from my dreams. Like a lot of my Wiccan spirituality from my dreams. Um, I also got that. I also got the Green Witch Year. Now, um, Dolly and the Black Dogs was talking about this book, and I wanted, because I'm getting married soon, both me and my, my fiancé is just getting into this stuff, and I'm very into this stuff, and I wanted, when me and him have kids, I want them to be connected to Wicked Roots, and I want to have some celebrations, so I decided, you know, this would be good to study before I have kids and I can start having these rituals with my boyfriend and I and my family, get our stuff going. I have a family covenant, I was born, like, so both my families I have covenants, so I'm part of two covenants that I run for my mom and my dad. Um, I also am starting a covenant with my fiance for me and his family, we start a family, and I'm going to take some of the parts of my mom and dad's covenant that I learned from them, and I'm going to take some of the people from their covenant to help me with mine. So I got those two books, and my ruins. Now I was playing with these already, I was, I, so I got my ruins in a bag, and I got this special book in its case still. Now I'm not going to tell you how much money I spent because it's over a hundred dollars and I tend to do this to myself a lot. I always lost my rolling books in here and just also coupons. 
and stuff that I got from the bookstore because I always go there a lot and they gave me free a free uh, bucket of coupons and a gift card and stuff because I was the one who spent the most today in the store and that kind of uh, scares me I guess to say but you know I was in the bookstore and got those books and I also looked at the other books that were in there that I'm going to be pursuing pursu pursu my word pronunciation is kind of icky today because I have a lot on my mind but some of the books that I'm going to be buying later on were there so I was just looking at them and reading them alright so the meeting I went to today was to see a therapist about seeing another therapist and I thought I was an oxymoron because I would talk to one therapist about seeing another one so I did that and they are going to help me with some emotional problems that I have that, that I've been having when I was little um if anybody knows I have a really bad childhood you know both my parents are heavily into drugs and stuff and I learned last year that both my parents were coke addicts when they had me and my mom is somewhat still a prostitute so this is my birth family I don't know if my birth family but I still you know talk to them time to time so it's really it's difficult for me to deal with that because I really frown upon heavily heavy drugs and I do frown upon prostitution so it's very it's very hard for me to cope with that and my little sister is starting to act a way that I don't think is appropriate for her age. She's 13 and she's been around the block and the stuff that she wears really frightens me. So I had stuff like that that was really on my mind. So I had to talk to you. I need to talk to somebody about it. Um, there is a Wiccan store located very close to my home. They got a lot of stuff there. Now, I have an idea for fellow gay people or of gay community. I'm going to purchase some special necklaces from there. And what the necklaces are, they are in a triangle. Like I believe they were upside down like this or like this. I can't remember which way it was. I can't remember if it was like that or if it was something else. It has the rainbow, rainbow in it. Uh, there's also some pentagons in rainbow form that are necklaces or rings. I got this ring like a long time ago. My fiance got me this ring and he has one too. Um, because they're both we're both into Wiccan. I'm more into it than he is. I have more practice and I'm he's starting to understand them and get involved in it. So he got this as promises promise rings instead of buying an actual real promise ring. And we're gonna make our own wedding ring that's Wiccan related, so it'll be really fun. So I'm going to be purchasing some cool necklaces and I'm going to have some contests on YouTube and I'm going to be giving them away. I'm also going to be buying some funky stones and stuff and special books that are special edition. You can only get them in Canada, Wiccan shops and I'm going to be having really good contests. So, you know, stay tuned to my channel, subscribe. And who knows, maybe you'll win one. Anyways, bless it be. If you have any ideas for me and videos, please let me know. I've got people, i got emails coming in for my media project that I'm working on. Anyways, I gotta go. I got other things to do. Got some meals to gotta feed the kids, you know. Anyways, have a great weekend because today's Friday. And, you know, be yourself this weekend, guys. Big thing. If you're going to parties, you know, if you're going to a gay bar, be yourself. Everybody loves someone who's true to themselves. Anyways, have a great weekend. Bless it be.